A road trip down the Oregon coast is a bucket list item for many. But if you don't have much time, how do you know what stops to prioritize? So I don't think we're gonna have enough daylight left to do any more hiking. In April, I found myself with two days to get from Tillamook to the California border. After the requisite stop for ice cream, we started heading south. We've come to Cape Kowanda. This is part of the Three Capes scenic route near the Tillamook coast. We're just gonna go hike up into the dune slash cape um, and see if it's got a nice view. We made it to the top. Walking up sand is always really difficult, but... <laughs> But we have great views both down the south coast and the north coast from here, so well worth the trip up. And now we're heading down. Our next stop was particularly interesting for the history geek inside of me. We're now making a quick stop at the Neskowin Beach. So this beach has something really interesting at it. It's called the Ghost Forest. The Ghost Forest is comprised of dozens of petrified tree stumps right at the shore. The stumps are the only thing that remains of an ancient forest after it was destroyed by the last Cascadia earthquake. Only a 20 minute drive south was my most anticipated hike of the entire coast. We're now in a town called Road's End and we're doing our first proper hike of the day. We're going to God's Thumb via the Knoll. About a two mile hike each way, so four miles. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right The payoff at God's Thumb was unbelievable such an amazing hike i didn't say anything up there because it was super windy and i don't think i would have been able to get picked up by the mic but if you come to the oregon coast and you're looking to do a hike do not miss this one i guess one note is it's like a little crowded but it is well worth it we're just about back at the car we are now heading to yahats which is where we're staying for the night we planned on doing one more hike but it's already five so i don't think we're gonna have enough daylight left to do any more hiking, but should still have a beautiful drive and a beautiful sunset. As expected, we got to the Airbnb well past sunset last night. We were so tired, we pretty much crashed immediately. So now it's a new day. We're gonna go try and get a few more hikes in along the coast while we head down to the Samuel H. Boardman State Scenic Corridor. One of the top recommendations along the coast is Hobbit Beach. Luckily, it was only 20 minutes south of our Airbnb. Our first stop today is the Hasita Head Lighthouse. We are approximately 20 minutes south of Yahats now. We are doing a four mile hike from the lighthouse to Hobbit Beach and then back. Well, we made it to the lighthouse. It is only half a mile from the parking lot, but we're gonna keep going so we can get to Hobbit Beach.
We're now at Hobbit Beach and this is a really big beach. It is so beautiful. I guess we're here during low-ish tide because you can see how far up the ocean will go during high tide, but right now it's way over there. We're just gonna walk around here a little bit and enjoy this beach before we head back to our next location. If you want to skip the lighthouse portion of this hike and make it just a short half a mile out, half a mile back, there is a place to park closer to Hobbit Beach. Our next stop is a trip to the Oregon Coast Dunes. We are doing the Sutton's Creek Dunes Trail. The whole thing is four miles, but I don't think we're gonna do the whole thing, just so we can like keep moving down the coast to see as much as we can. I think just to be totally honest, the dunes here at Sutton's Creek are a little bit of a letdown. The hike was nice, it was fine, but we're gonna see if we can make another stop and try to get some more impressive dunes. All right, dunes attempt number two. We drove about 40 minutes south of where we were. Now we're in the Oregon Dunes National Recreation Area. Um, we are going to do a trail called the John Dellenbeck Trail. Not the whole thing, just about half a mile in, half a mile out to see the dunes. So we made it to the dunes here at the John Dellenbeck Trail. These dunes are much, much more impressive than the ones at Sutton Creek. Um, so if you're gonna do a hike to get to some dunes, definitely <laughs> skip that one, do this one. With the trail, you can do a six mile loop. I'm pretty sure the trail will go all the way to the ocean, which you can kind of see it like way off in the distance. Maybe not in this camera. like a really, really big dune complex. The next leg of driving was our longest so far, but since the Southern Oregon coast is the most scenic, we wanted to make sure we had enough time. And we finally made it to the Samuel H. Boardman State Scenic Corridor. Um, so we're here to just quickly walk to Secret Beach. Not such a great secret. Should be a really short hike and it's supposed to be a really beautiful beach. And that was Secret Beach. It is a shame that we got such cloudy skies because it would have been a really beautiful sunset if there was better weather. Now we're gonna make just one more quick stop. So this last spot, we drove literally less than a minute from the Secret Beach parking lot. And now we are at Natural Bridges. 